The Apocalypse of Paul, chapters 40 through 42. Chapter 40. And I looked and saw men and women clad in white apparel, and their eyes were blind, and they were set in a pit. And I asked, Who are these, Lord? And he said unto me, These are they of the heathen that gave alms and knew not of I am the most high power. Wherefore, without ceasing, they pay the due penalty. And I looked and saw other men and women upon a spit of fire and beasts tearing them. And they were not suffered to say, Lord, have mercy on us. And I saw the angel of the torments laying most fierce torments upon them and saying, Acknowledge the son of I am, for it was told you before. But when the scriptures of I am were read unto you, ye paid no heed. Wherefore, the judgment of I am is just, for your evil doings have taken hold upon you and brought you into these torments. But I sighed and wept, and I inquired and said, Who are these men and women that are strangled in the fire and pay the penalty? And he answered me, These are the women which defiled the creation of I am, when they brought forth children from the womb, and these are the men that lay with them. But their children appealed unto the Most High Power and unto the angels that are over the torment, saying, Avenge us from our parents, for they have defiled the creation of I Am. Having the name of I Am, but not observing his commandments, they gave us for food unto dogs and to be trampled on by the swine, and others they cast into the river. But those children were delivered unto the angels of Tartarus, that they should bring them into a spacious place of mercy. But their fathers and mothers were hauled into everlasting torment. And thereafter I saw men and women clad in rags, full of pitch and brimstone of fire. And there were dragons twined about their necks and shoulders and feet. And the angels having horns of fire constrained them and smote them and closed up their nostrils, saying unto them, Wherefore, know ye not the time wherein it was right for you to repent and serve I am, and ye did not. And I asked, Who are these, Lord? And he said unto me, These are they that seem to renounce the world, wearing our garb, but the snares of the world made them to be miserable. They showed no charity and no pity upon the widows and the fatherless. The stranger and the pilgrim they did not take in, neither offered one oblation, nor had pity on their neighbor. And their prayer went not up even one day, pure unto the Most High Power. But the many snares of the world held them back, and they were not able to do right in the sight of I Am. And the angels carried them about unto the place of torments. And they that were in torment saw them and said unto them, We indeed, when we lived in the world, neglected I Am, and ye did so likewise. And we, when we were in the world, knew that we were sinners, but of you it was said, These are righteous and servants of I Am. Now we know that ye were only called by the name of the Most High, wherefore also they pay the due penalty. And I sighed and wept and said, Woe unto men, woe unto the sinners, to what end were they born? And the angel answered and said unto me, Wherefore weepest thou? Art thou more merciful than the most high power I am, which is blessed forever, who hath established the judgment, and left every man of his own will to choose good or evil, and to do as he pleaseth him? Yet again I wept very sore, and he said unto me, Weepest thou, when as yet thou hast not seen the greater torments? Follow me, and thou shalt see sevenfold greater than these. O oh, man! The Apocalypse of Paul, chapter 40, y'all. And is it even greater torments than those that I just mentioned? Wow. The Apocalypse of Paul, chapter 41. And he took me from the north side and set me over a well, and I found it sealed with seven seals. And the angel that was with me said unto the angel of that place, Open the mouth of the well that Paul, the dearly beloved of I am, may behold. For power hath been given unto him to see all the torments of hell. And the angel said unto me, Stand afar off, that thou mayest be able to endure the stench of this place. When therefore the well was opened straightway, there arose out of it a stench hard and evil exceedingly, which surpassed all the torments. 
And I looked into the well and saw masses of fire burning on every side in anguish. And there was straightness in the mouth of the pit, so as to take but one man in. And the angel answered and said unto me, If any be cast into the well of the abyss, and it be sealed over him, there shall never be remembrance made of him in the presence of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit or of the holy angels. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. And like, let me just pause real quick, because that's my greatest fear, y'all, is for the father. Well, besides of the fear of I am is the father forgetting about me, bro. And I said, who are they, Lord, that are cast into this well? And he said unto me, these are whosoever confesseth not that Christ is come in the flesh and that the Virgin Mary bare him and whosoever saith of the bread and of the cup of blessing of the Eucharist that it is not the body and blood of Christ. The Apocalypse of Paul, chapter 42. And I looked from the north unto the west and saw there the worm that sleepeth not and in that place was gnashing of teeth and the worms were of the measure of one cubit and on them were two heads, and I saw there men and women, and cold and gnashing of teeth. And I asked and said, Lord, who are they that are in this place? And he said unto me, These are they which say that Christ rose not from the dead, and that his flesh riseth not again. And I inquired and said, Lord, is there no fire nor heat in this place? And he said unto me, In this place is nothing else but cold and snow. And again he said unto me, even if the sun rose upon them, they would not be warmed because of the excessive cold of this place and the snow. And when I heard this, I spread forth mine hands and wept inside. And again, I said, it is better for us if we had not been born. All we that are sinners. All praise to the power of the son of man, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Father, I am that I am and for him sending his only begotten son to finally come and save the lost sheep of the house of Israel in our desperate time of need, which is right now. The Most High really has an opening account of the torments and details of both heaven and hell. And again, you have to have a discerning spirit to be able to tell what is what. You know what I'm saying? The spirit will let you know. The spirit will guide you. The Holy Spirit, the Ruach, it will let you know whether or not what you're hearing is the truth and so far this resonates in my spirit so all praise to the power of the son of man abraham isaac and jacob in these dire times shalom